This is my favourite cut of lamb. Some people call it the breast, some people call it belly, especially the belly, and the ribs of the lamb, a very cheap cut, very tasty, and this Welsh lamb has lived an amazing life. Look at the colour, look at the marbling, that's going to be stunning. So with this lamb breast, I'm going to go Barca style, croquetas, lamb croquettes, I love it, and I want the flavour of the lamb belly to be the start of the show. So simple, seasoning, oil, don't be shy with the salt, rub it in, just a muddle water at the bottom, into the oven now, this will need a good three hours to be really juicy, really fall off the bone, melt in the mouth, at about 160, and blue pizza style, been a busy bee this morning, here's one I made earlier, and you know it's ready, when you see the pullback on the bone there. Get the pan up to temp. Good knob of butter. Diced onion. Sweat the onions down. Now then, in with some flour to make a roux. Plus get some milk in slowly. And the key for a banging croquette is the bechamel. So just give it some love, okay? Give it some attention. Lovely. So, heat off, and let's attack this lamb belly. Look at that meat. It's no chef's perch. Mm. Oh. Welsh lamb's so good, you don't need to cover it with spices. That flavour is stunning. Pick the meat, and this liquid gold at the bottom, never waste that. So, just a dash of it. Beautiful. These lambs in Wales live such an amazing life. Beautiful green fields on the coastlines, breathing Welsh air, and it all comes through in the depth of flavour, baby. How can you make a Welsh lamb croquette even more Welsh? Lava bread. Bara lawr and I know a lot of people have a love-hate relationship with lava bread, but I love it. It's pure Welsh umami. It's a twist on a surf and turf croquette. I love it. Oh, that smell already. Stunning. Local Andalusi salt and some pepper, black pepper. Perfect. I really want to smash that now, but bang it in the fridge. You want this really cold? And I'll see you when this is chilled. Boom. The lamb lava bechamel mix is chilling in the fridge, and I really fancy a hard-hitting, punchy dipping sauce and mint and Welsh lamb are best friends. So let's make a quick mint sauce. So just pick the leaves in with some sugar. And the sugar is just going to help grind these leaves. And once you get the initial paste going, you can add a little bit of boiling water, just a dash, and some vinegar. Use whatever vinegar you like. I've got some apple cider vinegar here. Good plug. Colour. Ideal. Two minute mint sauce. Done. Yeah, that's chilled down. And it's essential that the mix completely chilled, okay? And now it's just in with your hands. Just let the mix into a little ball, into the flour, then into some eggs. And in here I've just got some breadcrumbs and some oats. A little nod to the Welsh dish, lava bread and oats. And it goes mega, mega crispy. So you want the oil to be on a medium heat, around 180 degrees. Don't overcrowd the pan. And just keep gently moving them around until they're golden, brown, crispy, crunchy. And there you go. My Welsh lamb, lava bread, croquetas, Barca style with Welsh love, mint sauce. Look at the crispy crumb oat coating. I'm so excited. Oh, <laughs> yes. I am ecstatic with how these have turned out. Just dip in the mint sauce. Oh, the Spanish have been doing it wrong for centuries, seriously. Forget that I better go ham. 
Snowdonia, Welsh mountain, lamb, the lava. Just a mellow hint of the sea, you know, it's not as strong as you think. Yeah? Everything complements each other. You can leave me alone now to smash the rest of these.